Hi y'all. This is the husband from Texas Roadrunners. Today we're going to take a look at our rainwater system. This is probably going to be multi-part video because it's, it's a lot of detail. But here on the homestead, the only water that we use is rainwater. We use it for drinking, bathing, everything. The first part of the system is actually the roof. Your roof collection needs to be of a good material and metal roofs are one of the most recommended. After the water comes off the roof, you need to funnel it to the barrels. That's where these mesh rain guards come into play. I installed these mesh guards about two months ago and it is the fall. As you can see, most of the leaves have fallen off the trees. I haven't cleaned these gutters since I installed them. And this is, or the roof. And this is the only amount of leaves that's on here. Now we've got an inch of rain last night, a uh, heavy downpour, which is why most of these leaves are on here in the first place. These mesh guards, the air flows through them. It's like a heavy duty window screen. And so these leaves dry out real fast. You can see it's only been a few hours since it stopped raining, but the leaves are already drying out. And so when we get a good wind, it's gonna blow all these leaves and all this stuff right off. So they require very little maintenance, which is great because the next piece is the gutter itself. This is a five inch gutter. That holds a lot of water. That's a large roof, approximately 900 square feet. So it collects a lot of water, about 850 gallons an inch on one side. So once the first screening process is that there, all only clean water goes into the gutter or very, very, very fine material, which there is not much of because of the roof design. So the water comes down the roof. It goes through the first screen. And that screen keeps all of the leaves and sticks and larger debris out. So the gutter itself stays nice and clean. Then that water travels down the gutter and goes into this white bin. The bin is called the leaf eater. And there's a screen on top of that bin that you can take off to clean. That's a, a secondary screen to catch more leaves and any debris. Now, it seems redundant to have a screen on the gutters and then a, a secondary screen. But what happens is, during a heavy rain, the water washes the leaves out of the gutter onto the secondary screen, and that actually plugs it up. And so the water then just goes off of the gutters and, and you don't get to collect any. So it's much better to have clean water out of the gutters. Also, when you have leaves and debris and stuff in the gutters, the gutters are harder to dry out because they receive less sunshine, so they'll start to decay and you'll get more organic matter in your tank, which you don't want. So you, the cleaner your gutters, the better. So coming out of the water comes out of the gutter into the second into the leaf eater, and then the leaf eater also allows you to channel the water. So I'm 
this is actually where you start to have control of the direction of where you want your water to go. Now that adapter coming out of the back side of the leaf eater will rotate 90 degrees or it'll rotate to come straight out like I have it positioned. I'm using 4 inch PVC pipe. I actually recommend 3 inch pipe because it's less expensive and it flows all the water that you're ever going to collect. So save yourself a little bit of money and go with 3 inch on the PVC. Once the water comes through the leaf eater, we have it going down to our collection devices.